Hi, I'm Carl with Diamond Jet. In this video, I'm going to talk about wheel horsepower and crank horsepower, what the differences are between the two, and how we measure them. The measurement of crank horsepower versus wheel horsepower is quite easy to explain. The wheel horsepower is measured at the wheels on a chassis dynamometer like the Dynajet 224XLC. Crank horsepower is measured at the flywheel on an engine dynamometer. Most manufacturers use that horsepower number as their rating for the vehicle. For example, this can MX3 is rated at 172 horsepower to the engine. Why do most manufacturers do that? Well, that's to get a higher number for people to want to purchase their vehicles, as well as any aftermarket components that are ever put on that vehicle, most people advertise it at that number just so it looks like they're making more power. When realistically, the vehicle makes only roughly 156 horsepower to the tire bone stock. So why does it make only 156 horsepower to the tire? That's because of all the drivetrain loss we have between the flywheel and the rear tire. We have the clutching. We have the CV shafts of the vehicle. We have the actual wheels and tires themselves. The weight of the wheel and tire can affect the horsepower output tremendously. Overall diameter also does that as well. So you're going to have a very big discrepancy between engine horsepower and wheel horsepower. And it all just comes down to how do you want to advertise the power that you're making? So now that you all know the differences between crank horsepower and wheel horsepower, you have to ask yourself the question is, well, how are these manufacturers measuring the outputs that they're claiming? Well, they're not, unless they're putting it on a chassis dynamometer or they're removing the engine from the vehicle. So why does Dynojet advertise wheel horsepower? We measure wheel horsepower because one, we're the industry standard when it comes to chassis dynamometer technology. We only measure wheel horsepower. We don't measure crank horsepower, and that's why we advertise a wheel horsepower rating. So when we tell you that your Can MX3 makes 193 horsepower to the tires, well, add 25% to that, and overall, that's probably going to give you how much horsepower you are making to the flywheel. Because in the end, that's what everybody else is doing. They're just telling you what they think the vehicle makes to the flywheel, and they're not accurately measuring it to the tire. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you're looking for more information about any of our dynamometers or the performance products that we make, you can visit us at dynojet.com.